So I've had this wig for about seven months now. My birthday was in July. I purchased three bundles of Kendra's Boutique Body Wave hair in the lengths 20, 22, and 24 inches. I got the closure from this company called Black Karma Hair. It's a 20 inch four by four body wave closure. It all originally came black, but then I got it styled by a stylist on Instagram, V Hair, and she bleached it for me. She bleached it blonde, all the way blonde. It's black, has like an ombre effect to it. It's black in there. It's brighter blonde, and then overall, it's just this honey blonde color. So the last time that I wore this hair, I wore it straight and it came out really nice, but it got puffy in the rain. So I'm going to show you how I revert it back to its natural body wave texture using my wand curler. This is a glueless wig. She just took my measurements and customized it to my hair size, but I'm still going to show you how I laid my lace down. Now the two products that I used in this hair was the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray and also the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shine Serum and they both work pretty well. So now I'm just going to go in and spray this heat protecting all throughout the hair. And then I'm going to run my fingers through it to make sure that it is all in there thoroughly. I'm going to just go into the middle, spray some in there, and then yeah. I'm going to brush the hair just to get any kinks out and also get the heat protectant all through the hair. Now I'm going to go in with the serum, and I only use like two pumps of this. It really goes through the whole head. I start in the middle, but I really focus on the ends, and whatever I have left on my hand, I just go and put that on top of the closure. Y'all, I started this at 9.47. You gonna see what time I end. Anyway, um, now I'm just starting to part it where I'm going to start the wand curls. And I forgot that I didn't have any more clips, so I had to go get a scrunchie from somewhere. And then just put all of that up. I'm using my wand curler on the highest heat possible, which is 410. So yeah, and then we're just gonna start curling it. I have no method when it comes to doing these wand curls. All I do is just make sure that I got all the strands of hair. Some of them are gonna be loose curls, some of them are gonna be tight curls, but at the end of it, it doesn't matter because I'm combing it all out and it really just has the same pattern regardless. Let me tell y'all, my camera dropped so many times. Like, what you're about to see, it's probably like the fifth time that it dropped. It kept falling, and I swear, it just made the process 100% harder. This is all I'm doing for right now. After all of the problems that I went through with this whole process, this is what we came up with. Mind you, I'm going to comb them out so it's gonna look different. Now, I leave these two undone because I still gotta do this. I'm gonna put this wig on my head and then focus on this lace. And once I finally do that, that's when I'm gonna curl this part and comb it all out. 
this is what it's come to i just want y'all i just want y'all to understand what i'm going through right now you need some type of foam this is like i said a glueless wig i still want to get these parts down so yeah any type of foam a comb to push the hair back got to be for the flyaways and then this little silk wrap to wrap my lace now we're putting on the foam and at this point i was trying to decide if i wanted to do edges or not but at the end i decided to just not do edges so you see me trying to see if i want to do this or do i eventually changed my mind and i just put down the little baby hairs that she left for me when i picked up the wig so i put those down and there you go Now you can just see me putting the foam from one end to the closure to the other end and you just leave it exactly how it is because when you put the wrap on all of the white goes away and then it comes off nice and laid. Now it's time to go in with the hot comb. I have it on temperature 15. So you just wait for it to get hot and then you pull them back like that. I call this a little melting effect. You all see why. Now that it's pushed all the way back, I like to bring it back down. And this makes it into like this little arched effect. I call it the little uh, McDonald's M. Don't it look like the little McDonald's M? I'm going to put some foam onto the top to try to get down the flyaways. And honestly, that's usually good for me how it is right there it looks perfectly fine but since i'm doing a video i'm gonna put some graphically on it and try to get it down some more look i look so crazy that's why i don't curl that part because i do so much that them curls would just be messed up now it's time to take the wrap off i just let it fall off by itself and it gives you the best results boom look at that are finally ready to start curling those last two parts of this hair i am so over it at this point i turned off the curlers you can see me messing with it i turned it off by accident I've been burning myself this whole time. Little did y'all know I was burning my junk to the max, and that junk hurt. I done burned both my pointer fingers and my thumbs. Them junks hurt. I'm supposed to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one really came out nice. The rest of them, they here because I asked them to be just do something so I could do a finished YouTube video. And they said, okay. But this one, she did not come to play. This one, she said, I'll, I'll come too, I guess. I'm going to go through with my fingers. Let's go through there with some serum, y'all. 
give it some shimmer and shine. Oh. All right, other side. So you're gonna see me, I'm about to start feeling myself because after a while it came out really cute. So I'm gonna start feeling myself a little bit. Okay, just for y'all and the sake of this video, I'm gonna put on a nice shirt and put on my lashes and we gonna see the finishing look. This is the aftermath of everything that I just did. I got glue all on my stuff. My ghetto creation is still here. But yeah, so after all of that, this is what you get. Well, I think it's very cute. In my opinion, it's very pretty. I would definitely go outside like this. A look at the lace after I done put all that stuff. It's not all laid down, like, because I'm not tagging nobody. It's 110 mm. The last thing that I do is brush it out and then boom, body wave. And here you go. So yes. This is the final product. This is the finished look of my little wand curl tutorial. Look crazy at first, but now, cause who told me, who told me to do this? I guess worth the time that I took to do it cause I took a lot of time. All in all, it was worth it. I'm not even going nowhere. It's just gonna stay just like this right next to the line over there. That's where it's gonna be at. The process wasn't fun, but after brushing it out and seeing how pretty I look, putting on my lashes and lip gloss, I like it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell to know the next time I post. Let me know in the comments if you think that I should do another video like this. And yeah. See you guys in the next video.